You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene. Johnson. After Buzz TV. After Buzz TV. From the AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's America's Next Top Model After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's America's Next Top Model After Show. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for watching us. We're doing another uh, recap, but this time it's an interview with the official winner of America's Next Top Model, Cycle 20, Jordan Miller. Thank you so much for calling in, Jordan. And once again, congratulations to you. Uh, we are so happy to see you be the winner of this cycle. How does it feel? How does it feel to have it finally out in the open? Oh my gosh, it feels like such a relief. I am so happy and, um, you know, just can't wait to get back out there and start working again. So is it true that you can't book it, you couldn't book anything until the show was over? What was that? Is it true that you could not book any uh, jobs until the show was over? Um, yeah, we, we, can, we can do certain things. We just have to, you know, run it through um, top model, make sure it's legit. And, um, you know, because we do get offered a lot of different types of jobs after the show. So, um, you know, while the show's on TV, we, we always want to run things through someone to make sure everything's legit. And um, so for a while, you know, I wasn't working. And um, I've been back in Oregon, so there hasn't been a lot of opportunity to work up there. But now that I am America's Next Top Model, I can uh, start, you know, my next projects, which are, you know, moving to New York City and um, really just getting my life on track um, with, you know, my career and getting that launched. Um, that's what my main focus is right now. <laughs> Do you ever get tired of saying that you're America's Next Top Model, Jordan? Um, never. I don't think <laughs> I'll ever get tired of saying it because I still can't believe it. And um, sometimes I'll go to the bathroom, look at myself, and be like, you are America's Next Top Model. And then uh, I have to walk back out because, you know, it is overwhelming sometimes. But, um, you know, it's, it's just a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and I am trying to be <laughs> as humble and, and grateful and thankful as possible. Well, you, um, you and, won Best Picture five times, and you were never in the bottom two. Did, so were you, how surprised were you? Did you really think a guy was going to take this from you, or what did you think when you were standing up there next to Marvin? Um, well, when I was standing up there next to Marvin, I really thought that it was going to be him because... I remember that I slipped on my dress during the runway, and as we remember from last season when Leela fell on the runway, um, you know, because I was rooting for her, I thought that that was what was going to have me lose um, to Marvin was that, that one little slip up. And I'm lucky that it didn't and that I took care of it gracefully and I kept walking that runway and didn't let anyone see that it bothered me. Um, so, you know... When they announced my name, I was just completely in shock. I, I thought that he he was going to, you know, win. So, yeah. You know, we're so excited over here in the studio to see you win. Um, you know, we're rooting for Marvin as well. He's been in the studio a couple of times, but I was so excited that I didn't even get to introduce ourselves. So I'm Emma Can. We also have <laughs> Keaton in the studio with us. But we want to know a little bit about your uh, experience, just your overall journey on the show. Can you share us um, how that was, what that was like? Yeah, um, you know, my journey on the show um, has completely changed my life forever. I was a different girl coming in. You know, I wasn't as confident and I wasn't as sure of myself. Um, but, you know, coming out of it, I've learned a lot. I learned how to live with, you know, 14 other guys and girls under one roof and, um, you know, all the social dynamics that go into that. But, um, you know, I just... In general, I am a stronger woman. I'm confident, and I know that um, I can do anything that I apply myself to. 
and we definitely see that on screen. Uh, you were a completely different person up until the last episode than, you know, what we saw you starting off with. And, you know, we really congratulate you. You have transformed, I think, not only as a model, but as you said, uh, you took in stuff as a person and changed them in a good way, positive way. So with that said, what was the most challenging uh, part of the show? Aside from I living with 14 other people. <laughs> 14 other A-type personalities, it seemed. <laughs> um, I would have to say the toughest part of the show um, would be just the stress and the adrenaline rush that you constantly have um, because it tires you out and you don't know if you can keep going, but you just have to power through it. So I would have to say that, yeah, the just the, the energy it takes to film a TV show and to be a contestant and to be thrown challenges and, you know, different things here and there to throw you off, um, that alone is, is hard. And, you know, you're away from your family and you don't have a lot of contact with them. So if you are someone who, uh, you know, likes to be in contact with their mom all the time or, their sisters and brothers, you know, it, it's going to be hard. Um, and as for, you know, next season's crew that's going to be coming on, um, you know, my advice to them is to just make sure that they, that they stay true to themselves and uh, remember that at the end of the day it is a competition, it's not the end of the world, and that everybody's going to come out having success. I, I felt like that was one thing, Jordan, that you did – so flawlessly this entire uh, season. It even, I think, got you in trouble and got a lot of the other contestants kind of angry with you and frustrated with you because you did look at it as a competition and you weren't there. You didn't seem like you were there to, you know, make friends, even though you were very friendly with everybody. Do you, how do you feel and how, how what is your relationship like with everybody now that the show's done? You know, now that the show is over, I don't keep in contact with everybody, but I do have a strong relationship and connection still with Nina and Corey. And, you know, here and there, uh, Chris and I will talk to each other on Twitter. But, um, you know, I think that at the end of the day, people didn't realize it wasn't America's Next Top Best Friend. It was America's Next Top Model. Yeah. And um, that was what I think kept a barrier between making a relationship with the other contestants was that they all felt that I didn't have my guard down because I was there for something else. You know, that's really interesting you bring up Chris because that segues into my next question was, how did you feel when he was the only one on your team? You know, that was, that was a tough situation because I had mixed feelings. At first I was upset because, you know, Chris got on my nerves. What he did to Nina was, you know, not right. Um, and how he treated her but um i had to take a step back and realize that he was no longer in the competition he was not a threat to me and that he chose me based off of my modeling skills and that alone just gained so much respect from me to him you know that he believed in me and had faith in me and at the end of the day if someone is willing to support you it doesn't matter whether they are your worst enemy. You just have to be grateful for it and um, tell them thank you. And how did you feel about uh, Mike switching teams <laughs> last minute? <laughs> I'm just glad that Mike uh, did the switch because he did tell me he had some bills to pay. So I'm hoping that <laughs> you know, happy with his decision. So. so. Jordan. But it did feel really good to have him be like, you know what, I made a mistake. I think Jordan's going to win. And that, and that just reassured that, you know, I had the skills and uh, everything it takes to be America's Next Top Model. And with that said, who did you think was your biggest competition in the, in the show? Oh, I would have to say for sure that Nina was, out of the girls, my biggest competition. She's the only other female to get best photo more than once. And, you know, she has just a very strong look about her. Um, I know that she's going to be very successful in her career, but that girl, I, I will tell you, she had me running for my money, and I was scared. <laughs> and, you know, 
excuse to take it away. But I, I you just, know, Nina's a gorgeous girl and has so much potential. I just talked to Nina uh, last week, and she said that she's getting ready to move to New York as well. Are you guys going to be roomies? Um, actually, I think that her and Alexandra just moved in together. Oh, wow. Um, so, so I'm sure that they are having the time of their lives. <laughs> As for me, I'm not quite sure on, you know, whether or not I'm going to be in New York or L.A. Um, so I'm probably just going to have a place in, in, on both the East Coast and West Coast for now. And then I'll figure out, you know, as I get to working more where I need to be. Yes. So right after you won, like Tyra said that you take a higher percentage of good pictures than she can. Did you do modeling before America's Next Top Model? Did you, what was your experience kind of jumping into this? Um, yeah, I did model before um, the show, uh, but it was in my younger years. Um, I began modeling when I was uh, about 15 years old and did it until I was 17. Um, you know, my agency dropped me after um, I had, you know, made some money and was getting ready to put myself through college, uh, you know, they sent me an email saying that they were going to close their doors and to call a phone number for payroll. And I called that phone number and I didn't get anybody on the other line. So at that point, my dreams were crushed. I thought that, you know, that I would never find another agency. And so I, I kind of gave up for a little bit. And when I realized how much excitement um, I would get every time I talk about modeling or the light that would just emulate from me as I would uh, speak about, you know, traveling around and doing what I like to do, um, that's when I realized I did not need to be a telemarketer anymore and that I needed to go out for these auditions. Um, and, you know, it just, it feels great. I can't. I seriously can't believe that um, my life has changed the way it has over the course of just one year. And Jordan, how did you feel about the uh, the elimination up until the last point when you guys were ready to walk down the the runway and Tyra announces that big twist and that you know she announces that someone was going to be eliminated and it was Corey. How did you feel about that? Did you think it was? Uh, you know, right for him to get eliminated first. Um, what was going through your head up until that moment where she reveals a twist? Um, you know, uh, before Tyra had come into the room, I was a little suspicious as to what was taking so long and why we had not gotten out onto the runway yet. And when she came in and said there was going to be another elimination, I thought it was me going home. I thought that they were just going to kick the last girl out and make it between two guys. Um, but then when she called my name, I was just like, okay, I have to kill it on this runway. I cannot, you know, lose. So when Corey was eliminated, I felt so bad for him because he still had to go out and perform with us. Um, he had to still get into character and, you know, do his thing. And I think that he did such a good job after just being eliminated, you would not be able to tell. And, um, you know, kudos to him for just being able to pull it together right after an elimination and be able to go out there and still be fierce. I think they're all amazing. We had the boys in the studio on Friday after watching the episode, and they all applauded you for winning. Uh, you deserve the title, and I know everyone on the show is going to be doing bigger and, you know, better things, and, you know, all of you guys deserve to be number one. Um, but my question is, when Tyra critiqued you on taking the uh, camera away from, uh, was it Rob you it took it Rob, away from? Yeah and taking photos. What was going through your head at that point? Oh my gosh, I was so scared when she was like, that's when you forgot about modeling and, and you, uh, you know, lost your composure a little bit. I was, I was worried. I was like, oh no, not only did I trip on my dress, but I didn't look like a model when I stole the camera from Rob. And, um, you know, that it worried me and I can, I can just sit, Sitting here talking to you now, remember how hard my heart was pounding in my chest, um, just waiting uh, for her to tell us that it was time for deliberation so that we could, you know, go and figure out who was America's Next Top Model. Was it part of the plan for you to take the camera, or was it something that you just happened to do just like the kiss? 
Oh, no, it, um, <laughs> it was planned. Uh, that was something that I was uh, supposed to do. But, um, uh, yeah, I, I just, I guess, grabbed it and kind of hunched over a little bit. Um, but, you know, I, I feel like I did a good job and I looked good. And I think I was mostly worried about not stepping on Corey because initially <laughs> they wanted me to put my, my foot on his chest with my heels. And I was afraid if I lost my balance, I would, you know, fall on top of him. So I kind of stood off to the side, and that could be why she said I forgot about modeling. Is it wasn't the pose I was initially supposed to do. Well, we kind of have to wrap it up here, Jordan. But where can we find you, and where can we follow kind of your continue, continuing modeling journey? I am always on Twitter, and I'm always on Instagram. And the two user, usernames are the same. And that's at Love Jordan. And uh, I do run my own fan page, and um, that's on Facebook. It's Jordan Miller Official. So those are the three social media outlets that I am working with right now. Um, and so that's where you can find all my updates. And before we wrap this up, let us know when we can expect the guest uh, ad campaign to, to come out. At this point, um, I'm not sure when it's coming out. Um, but I can tell you that uh, Nylon Magazine will be out uh, December, January. Awesome. Oh, that's so exciting. Well, thank you so much, Jordan, for calling in. Um, can, yeah. Why don't you tell us where they can find you? Uh, you guys can find me on Twitter and Instagram at KeatonM33. And congratulations, Jordan. Uh, I was rooting for you to win, and I hope you're still blonde. <laughs> <laughs> And I am still blonde. I Woo! love it. I'm not going to go back. <laughs> and you guys can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Real Emma K. Thank you so much, Jordan, for calling in, and congratulations. Thank you. Thanks, Jordan. Good luck with everything. Bye. Bye. From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.